All right, I'm going to take this cover off. Looks like one fastener is missing. It's got three. Three, five, sixteen. My impact kind of broke off. A couple months ago, I had uh, the impact, one of these uh, impact wrench, the uh, quarter inch little tip of one of these deals broke off in there and it's uh, stuck in there. No way to take it apart. So I've been using the drill for everything here lately. All right. So we're going to take this off. Then we'll take it over to the bench and see what's going on with it. Okay. All right. We got this out. It looks like everything's kind of in one piece. What happened here? So does the spring have any spring it left in it? Yeah, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Let's uh, cut it out of there and see what's happening. Do we even have to cut it out? Usually there's like a little thing. Okay, here's a little here's a little nipple on here. Sometimes there's like a little cutout where you can pull this rope through and then just like spin it around and uh, wind it up. So see if we can get this out, get it wound up, and then get it stuck in place here. We're going to cut it, pull it out, and see if we can get some spins on this uh, recoil assembly. Big question is, why did it uh, fail in the first place? May have to go investigate that here in a minute. Okay, so yeah, that spring's not catching on. So we're going to find out why. All right, I'm going to pull this off. We'll see there's a clip, a little washer underneath the clip. Someone's probably been working on this, so things might not be put back together the way they should be. Keeping that in mind, but it does look like everything's here and that we might be okay. So there's... That clip, this doesn't want to come off. This There's like a washer, it looks like, underneath here. Okay, this should just pull right off. And let's see. It's going to do that. Got that washer on there. How in the world can the, that even come off? It sprung up against there. Okay. Is there a way to pop this thing off here? Yeah, it's looking like this whole thing may end up needing replaced. I'm hoping not have to do that. Okay. Now, is this clip, is this like a C-clip thing? Is it in one piece? Is it, is it got a slight uh, slit in it or I can take it off? Don't, I don't, uh. I don't see. It looks like just a solid freaking washer. How do you even get that off of there? I don't know. I don't even know why that would really need to be there. Maybe a bigger washer. I don't know. Who put this on here? Let me see what I can do. I'm going to pause this, see if there's a way I can pull this off. Okay, so I'm able to get up underneath this washer like this, and maybe I'll be able to kind of get it out like that. Got to get it off. Okay, that's off. I don't think that was going on there properly. I'm going to look up the parts and break down on that. Okay, so we got this. Got the white thing, the spring, and then this kind of yellowish thing with the with the dogs on it. I don't know what you call those dogs or not. Whatever. Okay, so we'll set that to the side. Along with the clip over there. And we got this spring in the middle. And pull that out. I'm going to just set this right over there in the order it's stacked. Then we'll get this out. Take a look at the spring. Okay. Now a lot of times, this little tab right here is all deformed and nasty. But that actually looks like it's in pretty good shape.
So this may just be an issue where we got to we just got to get the spring back onto here, and it's all in one piece. So hopefully we can just get this tweaked a little bit so that it catches back onto that. See, this spring may just be totally in there the wrong way. I don't know. But, uh, so it would normally, okay. See which way. We'd probably be turning it to the right to tighten it up. And then, no, if we're pulling it out this way. Yeah, we'd tune to the right. And then it would just reel back this way. Well, we'll figure it out. So how do we get this hooked onto that? Let's see. I'm going to bend this down a little bit so I can get this down in between that shaft coming out in the middle and the tang sticking up. That that right there might work. See that? Okay, so I'm going to slide it down right over the shaft and then start see that? Get it over there and then start turning it to the right until it catches. Okay, so I've got it down over that shaft. Let me try to get it in there. There it is. Is it catching? No didn't catch okay keep trying no that won't won't do it will it okay so I just reversed this hook going to the inside toward the inside to or yeah, going in like that to go in that way. It was like in like that. So I'm going back out this way. And let's see. So then to go counterclockwise, yeah, I'd be grabbing it that way. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm not really good with this uh, recoil. <clears throat> I'm in the recoil matrix right now. So... All right, tightening back up. <clears throat> and my hands, I'm sure, are going to be nice and dirty. Get done doing this. Even though I have gloves on, it's cutting through the gloves pretty quickly. So they'll be gone and useless here in a little bit. Giving sun protection a little bit. But okay. Get this a little tighter. Should be about ready to go back in there now. Okay. And let's see. Ah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if that'll do it. And we're going to be going like that counterclockwise. Okay. <clears throat> I got that. It's going to want to grab, hopefully. Onto that. Get it on here. It should, it should want to grab. Let me open this up a little bit. Can, yep. Start it on here. There we go. I think I got it. Okay. Yep. And it'll be recoiling. Okay, good. That was it. So see how it does that? So you want to go ahead and get about, I don't know, seven or eight turns on this thing until it's pretty tight. It kind of wants to stay in place like that. Okay, that should be fine. 
fine. Give it a little more. And a little trick with this is uh, stick a screwdriver or something like that down in there to just kind of hold it in place like that. Now keep it there. And then we're going to put the stuff back in reverse order here. So we have the spring right down around over there, I guess. Wasn't it? Sure doesn't want to. Okay, let me get this out. <laughs> didn't like doing it with the screwdriver in there so that's that spring pushes up yes on this thing all right can i do this with just the clip i kind of just want to put the clip in here i don't want to put that washer back in there so let me try it and see if it works like that Well, I'm just going to let the spring kind of relax a little bit. And now I'm going to get this down on here, make it a little easier to work with, so I'm not having to hold it and put the clip back on there. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Now we're going to get it. Yeah, I don't think I need that washer on there. Okay, so I got the clip back on there. Put it on without the washer. It didn't seem like that washer should even have been on there, or maybe it was the wrong one. I'm not sure. So we're going to look and see where the hole is that this thing pokes through. Here it is right here. And this type will bring it over one last time, get it here. And then we're going to do the, the little screwdriver trick again to just hold it in place and trying to align that, that hole, the string hole with the uh where you pull out pull the string out so here's the here's the string hole right there you see that right there and then the uh hole goes through over here and a good way to do this is to uh use a lighter on here i don't have it this might go through uh just fine like it is without having to Sometimes I, I light it. So you want we're going through the hole here. Sometimes I'll light the end of it on on fire and then just Okay, I'm missing the hole big time. It's a lot easier if it's pointed. So I might might have to light it up. Fire it up. Flame going there and try to poke it through the okay, it's kinda going there it is. So I got it through the hole there. I just make it through, kind of twisting it to get it out there. Okay. Then if I just put one little overhand knot, it is most definitely going to not pull through just with the simple knot like this. Not too long. You don't want to get stuff caught up in here. And let's see if we did it. Good enough. All right. So I'm holding the string out. And away. Yeah, let's see. All right. So I got a handful of string in my other hand. I'm going to let it recoil itself back in there. There we go. Got a little knot in it over here. Unknot it up. And see if this is going in far enough. So we'll uh, pull this a few times. We've got about three foot of rope left kind of sticking out. But that's good. Um, it's decent. We just want the rope to ride up onto the handle. And so that should be fine. Okay, it's... It's engaging those dogs good, but man, I would I would rather have this thing pulling back a lot faster. I don't know what's uh, keeping it from going back any faster, but uh, let me uh, 
wind it up maybe a little more, get a little tighter, and see if that helps out. Might spray a little uh, juice down in there too. I don't know if getting it tighter is going to help though. Seems to be pretty tight as it is. Just doesn't pull out real good. It doesn't rewind nicely. I don't know what's sticking it up. Hmm. I put a little uh, lube juice on there. See you. See what happens. I usually I don't like getting these wet necessarily. A little bit PB blaster down in there. See what happens. See if it'll. There it goes. I tell you that did the trick right there. That's going good. Just a little squirt of PB Blaster right around in there, and it's soaked down in, and it is wonderful. Okay, so that's the pull start. Got that done. Let's get it back on here real quick. Got my screws. Okay, that was a bit, little bit, tiny bit time-consuming, but it'll, it's fine. And I'll have to find another... This hardware right here is pretty good. If you run across any uh, junk mowers that you can't fix or whatever, try to salvage some parts like this. You know, these are nice, just random things to have laying around in the shop. I don't think I have any other ones like this, but that's why it's nice to have sometimes. Because they're sort of hard to come by. All right, let's see if this thing pulls. Okay, got the squeeze the brake lever. Okay, man, that thing pulls. It recoils. And I'll put this handle back on here. This little string guide. Get it back into place. Then we'll dump out this excess oil. 